You are about to hear what can only be described as a stunning telephone call. The recorded hour-long conversation Saturday is filled with insults, compliments, and pleading. There's nothing wrong with saying that, you know, uh, that you've recalculated. Well, Mr. President, the challenge that you have is the data you have is wrong. All I want to do is this. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes. He understands that he's lost. That's what this call shows because he knows I've got to find 11,780 votes. He's acknowledging he's lost and he's trying to pressure this guy to add to his vote total. And as the cable and broadcast networks underscore, Trump is also pressuring Georgia's Secretary of State with threats of legal trouble. You know what they did and you're not reporting it. That's a criminal, that's a criminal offense. That's a big risk to you and to Ryan, your lawyer. That's a big risk. It all raises a huge question. Did Donald Trump and his phone call with Georgia officials break election laws? And how about extortion and obstruction of justice? And what, if anything, should be done about all of this? Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for watching. Let's be clear. The president of the United States has been caught on tape for an hour trying to falsify the November election results. Mr. Trump did not offer any evidence or argue any facts. Instead, he simply used bullying to try to get his way. Mr. Trump repeatedly urged the Georgia Secretary of State to, quote, find, Mr. Trump's word, the necessary votes and, quote, say you've recalculated. Recalculated? Georgia has already done this four times since the election. First, they did a hand recount of all ballots. Then they did a rescan of all paper ballots. Then they did a machine recount of all ballots. And then after certification, when there were questions raised about whether the signatures were on the right ballots and matched, Georgia did an audit of 15,000 mail-in ballots in Cobb County, Georgia, and couldn't find a single instance of voter fraud or where the signature didn't match properly. There are a few criminal codes that could be in play here. 52 U.S. Code 20511 makes it a criminal penalty for a person, including an election official who in any election for federal office, Section 2, knowingly and willfully deprives, defrauds, or attempts to deprive or defraud the residents of a state of a fair and impartially conducted election process through Section B, the procurement, casting, or tabulation of ballots that are known by the person to be materially false, fictitious, or fraudulent under the laws of the state in which the election is held. Does President Trump know that the ballots he's asking for don't exist? I suppose that could be a possible Donald Trump defense, even though that's irrational or crazy, but that may apply. What about the Georgia Criminal Code, Section 212604? It's a crime when a person solicits, requests, commands, importunes, or otherwise attempts to cause the other person to engage in election fraud. It seems clear President Trump was making requests, but again, here's a little bit of a catch. The president has to know or has to intend to violate the law. And if Mr. Trump didn't know that he was encouraging fraud, I suppose that could also be a defense. The debate will go on and on about whether the president broke the law. It seems clear that something must be done. Is it a high crime and misdemeanor? Should the House impeach President Trump? They could, but would the Senate convict President Trump? No, they probably wouldn't. Should there be some sort of censure of Donald Trump? Well, that's a possibility. But in any case, the audio excerpts should be heard by anybody in the United States who cares about democracy. It is a lasting reminder that the 45th president of the United States sought to undermine his successor, and in doing so, added to the discredit he has brought upon himself for four long years. If we as a society care about democracy, we can never forget Donald Trump or the Republican stooges who went along with treacherous and arguably treasonous actions. America has never seen anything like this. America can never forget.